Hey, Coach Colin Castillo here with ShopMechanics.com, and we've gotten a ton of requests for this. So today we're going to break down Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's vintage skyhook. <laughs> Now, before we get into it, I want to give a quick shout out to Jeff Sebastian on Twitter, who's this week's NBA jersey winner. And don't forget, if you want to win this next week's jersey, all you have to do is watch the end of the video to find out how. So this guy looks very difficult to hit the further out you are away from the basket. So if you can get position, that'll help you quite a bit. One thing Kareem loved to do is back down his defender so he can get optimal position. From the wing, try to get both feet inside of the paint to ensure that you're close to the basket. That way, he'll shoot a much higher percentage. So to ensure proper form on the skyhook, we like to think knee up, elbow up. This basically means that as your shooting elbow comes up, so should your knee on the same side of your body. One thing that helps is to pretend like there's a string attached between your knee and your elbow. So when the elbow goes up, so does the knee. So work on this timing for optimal lift and power. Inconsistency is one of the major problems that a lot of people have while shooting the skyhook. One thing you can do to combat this is make sure that your shooting arm is fully straight when you release the ball. This helps keep the mechanics the same every single time. So now I think the biggest key to the skyhook is the two finger release. Now in shooting, we often talk about having one dominant finger. Sometimes that's the middle, sometimes it's the index. But with the skyhook, you want the ball to roll off of your middle finger and your index finger at the same time. Now just pretend like you're putting those two fingers in the hoop and you're good to go. Don't forget, you can also snap that wrist just like a normal jump shot to try to get extra touch on the ball. The more touch you can put on it, the better the chance it has of going in. So remember, it's not as hard as you think. You want to back down your defender for that position. You want your knee and your elbow to move up at the exact same time. You want to make sure that you get full extension of that elbow. That way it's nice and straight and not bent when you release. And then you want to make sure that you release off of your two fingers. That way it ushers the ball towards the basket and it will go straight. All right, don't forget if you haven't, you're going to want to do two things. Number one, hit that subscribe button because we put out four videos every week and I want you to see all of them. Number two, you can click this annotation up here or the link in the description to get our top three favorite shooting secrets. These are shooting secrets that a lot of you guys have implemented into your game, and a lot of people are seeing success overnight. In 24 hours, their shooting percentage has increased. All right, so this week we're gonna do an Instagram jersey giveaway courtesy of unboxingjerseys.ru. So you gotta do two things. Number one, you gotta follow me on Instagram, and that's at Chop Mechanics, all one word, all lowercase. All right, so then you're gonna find our picture of a Kobe Bryant jersey. Now this isn't the jersey you win, you get a pick if you win, um, but what you wanna do is on that picture, you're gonna tag three friends in the comment section. Once you do those two things, you're eligible to win, and we're going to pick somebody at random and announce them on our Wednesday video next week. All right, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to tune in tomorrow for our NBA Shooting Secrets Dirk Nowinski edition. I'll see you there.